Even a lot of retro gamers are getting an Oculus Quest 2, which warms my soul. Wait until they figure out they can play every Virtual Boy game with this Virtual Boy Go sideloaded. And the comments from that tweet told me that, man, a lot of people didn't know you could do this. In this video, I want to show you how I can do this. And you can do this too. How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, the Virtual Boy. Eh, I mean, it's unique. But if you've always wanted to experience it for yourself without actually getting a Virtual Boy. I mean, I have a Virtual Boy in the other room. I could show you, but then I'll just be showing off. I'm too humble for all that. It's not my style. Getting this to play Virtual Boy ROMs, I would say it's easy to do, but once you see how to do it, you're like, oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do that. And it's 100% free. You gotta love that. On top of, of course, having Oculus Quest 2, you'll also need a USB-C to USB-C cord and a way for you to plug your Oculus Quest 2 into your computer so you can load the ROM files onto it. The first thing you need to do is drop your Oculus Quest 2 into developer mode. Now, you do not need to be a developer to get into developer mode but it is a process that you need to do. They changed how to do it recently, so I'll link to the article on how to get it done. But now you go through the Oculus site, you'd say, yeah, I'm a developer, doesn't matter if you are or not, you just say that you are. Um, and then they unlock it for you. There you go. And then we need to get the SideQuest app. And SideQuest is your friend. Once you're in developer mode, you can download all these great games, all these great apps, and even purchase some games that aren't in the Quest store uh, for this. But the Virtual Boy Go app is 100% free. So we find the SideQuest app and we install it on your phone. It's not a very big file at all, it shouldn't take you too long at all. Agree to the stuff. And then from here, this is where you can install your new apps from your USB-C to your USB-C. You just connect your phone to your Quest. And before we do this, we have to set up Wi-Fi. Again, super simple, just you know, plug in your stuff, click the thing. You will have to look through your headset to approve. Uh, once you plug in things to your headset, your headset will, you know, look through the, the actual, your actual, like, just put on your Oculus Quest 2, and then it'll say, like, hey, do you want to use this computer to access your files and all that? Just, just say yes to everything. You'll be all right. Give you a little bit of a process, but the green light means go. You look for your Virtual Boy Go app. I already have the Virtual Boy Go app, but this is how you go about getting it. But once you're there, it also tells you to put, you know, put your ROMs in uh, that folder there. And then when you go to play it, um, where it has like, you know, like here's all your, you know, like the, here's, you know, the whatever you have, um, it's in this unknown sources. And that's when you have like the ones that the quest doesn't recognize, but you have things like your, uh, I, I want to show you a couple of these really quickly, but then one of them is your, um, your virtual boy go. Where when it loads up, there you go. Even have settings so... Uh, like the palette, for instance, you can go green or black and white or purple or, you know, it's, it, it doesn't have to be red. You can do whatever color you want, of course. You can also um, make a 2D screen if you don't want to be in 3D. Follow the head just means whichever way you're looking, it's probably not going to show up as anything, but I move my head around and um, it's following. I just keep it there. And so let's... Um, it doesn't matter. I'll, I don't want to be in black and white, but whatever. And then you can also load, of course, your ROMs and easy to find. Just web archive. Just do a search for the web, you know, Virtual Boy ROMs web archive or something like that. You'll find all of them that you can sideload uh, like uh, Duck Hunt VR. Because somebody made it with Unity and you want to support the cause the, for the good of the nature of the retroness of the put it on expert mode here. Sure. Why not? Go for it. Uh, start. You can play a. Uh, Oh, here's my gun. Let's bring it. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are we at? Where are we at? Lame. Lame. There we go. <laughs> Which just shows you what the creatures from Final Fantasy look like in real life. Like as if you were standing there. Something down there. You pivot this way. There's this guy here. You look over this way and it just gets... More and more, that guy gets closer and closer, but it's like, things are getting creepy, creepy, super creepy. Good Lord. <laughs> hey. Whatever. And if my videos didn't help, there's already a ton of other great videos out there on how to get Virtual Boy Go working on your Quest 2 or your Quest 1 or even your Quest Go. Subscribe if you haven't. You also got to let me know what is your favorite Virtual Boy game. I still haven't discovered all of them yet, but I'm looking forward to playing more of them.